Hello, my name's Sean Thompson. I'm part of the technical services team for Crown Paints and I specialise on the saddle and wood care range. In this video, we're going to be concentrating on how to care for interior floors, specifically concentrating on saddling PV67, our hard-wearing floor varnish. Now we're going to talk about caring for interior floors. We've got a product called PV67. This product is an acid catalyzing system. It's a two-pack product, ideal for things like dance floors, high traffic areas, bar tops, sports halls, and that sort of thing. Lots of people have concerns about using two-pack systems, but what we're hopefully going to demonstrate to you today is how easy they are to apply. What we've got in front of us are some finished articles here, and hopefully you can see in the board here that the PV67 would normally be put onto bare timber, or if you want to put a colour, you need to put only just one coat, one coat of a low build solvent based system, i.e. what we would recommend that you put one coat of saddling classic. You can use a wood dye, but you'd normally need to leave that for at least 12 hours to a day. If you're applying saddling classic, we would recommend that you leave that for three to five days. With PV67, it's a very, very easy to apply, but a very quick drying system. First coat takes about half hour to an hour to dry. Your second and your third subsequent coats take about one to two hours to dry, so you can quite easily get the job done in the day. You get a satin or a gloss finish, depending on what you want. Your final finish will always be determined by the final coat that you actually apply to the floor. The most important thing when you're applying an acid catalyzing floor system is to make sure that the conditions are right and suitable to make sure that the flooring compound system makes sure that it actually cures through properly. The key thing is ventilation and airflow. When applying anything to a floor, you need to make sure that the temperature is right. So we're talking around about 18 to 25 degrees Celsius. Humidity wise, we need to make sure that that's relatively medium to low, so that's about 65% humidity. If there's concerns over that, then you may need to bring in a dehumidifier. The other thing you need to make sure is that when this product is drying and curing, that there is airflow. Now, lots of people just open windows and expect that to be suitable, but we need to have airflow because as the solvents come out of the system, and you're obviously working on a horizontal floor, they need to be blown away from the surface to allow the actual finished article to dry off and cure through and harden. So what we recommend that you do do is actually get in some electric fans and place them, not obviously not on the floor, but in doorways to encourage airflow across the system. Obviously important on the very first coat, the second coat, but paramount obviously on the final coat, because in a lot of cases there can be situations that people think that they've done the job shut all the doors and think that's it. So it's in paramount that that is done all the way through the application of the whole system. Within the pack itself, and you can get one litres and five litres, we've got the product itself, which is either satin or gloss as we've mentioned. You get the hardener that comes with that, and there's enough hardener for the product that is actually supplied. Also within the pack, is the instruction sheet. Now this instruction sheet is very, very informative and specific and tells you exactly what needs to do with regards to application conditions, what can and can't be done in order to help you achieve absolutely best results. Ultimately, what you're gonna end up with is a very, very hard wearing floor. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna quickly do some applications. Now. Normally for best practice and to make sure that you get the absolute best finish, you would use a soft bristle brush or you would use a mohair roller or a lamb's wool applicator, obviously on a much bigger area. For the purpose of the demonstration today, we're just going to use a small foam roller just for the ease of controlling what we've got on the area here. So when we're actually making the mix up, what we need to do is we use 10 parts of the product to one part of hardener. You've actually got enough hardener for the whole of that product and you can quite happily make everything up in one go, but obviously there is only a finite time that that will last if you make it all up and you don't use it all together at the same time. All the instructions are there in the instruction manual. What we do recommend is that you just make up what you need for each coat as you go along. So when applying PV67 to a surface, as you can see, we've got the small border. Now this is already pre-coated with PV67. 
If we were going on to bare timber, we just need to do the prep as normal in as much as we need to lightly abrade the surface, make sure that it's dusted off, give it a thorough clean with methylated spirits or cellulose thinners as appropriate to the timber that you're putting it onto. In this particular case, we can argue that this is either the second or third coat or a maintenance coat because PV667 can go over itself or another acid catalyzing system as long as you do a pre-test. If it was a water-based system, you can't put PV67 over the top of it because you will get a reaction between the two. So you'd have to re fully remove that system and then start again. So in this particular case, all we're going to do is lightly abrade the surface in order to provide a key. So again, just making sure that you go with the grain. And what you'll see is that there'll be an element of like a white dust that comes up and that's perfectly normal. That obviously gets dusted off. And we're now ready to decorate. Now what I've done is I've pre-dispensed enough product in here, but what I'll now do is I'll now put the ratio one to 10 of the hardener to the product. So here's my tenth of the hardener and I'll just add that to the product. All right, with all products, we make sure that we give it a good thorough stir to make sure that those active ingredients are mixed in together. Put it into the tray that to one side and as I said earlier we're using a foam roller here just for demonstrative purposes and it's as simple as basically applying the product across the full extent of the surface what this will do is this will flow out nicely this is the gloss finish that we're using so that will retain that sheen that gloss finish sheen that we want and if there were any imperfections on the surface, like scratches or anything like that, they will be filled in by the, the very last coat that we're applying here and just bring everything nicely together. Until that's complete. Now in an hour or two, that will be completely dry. Once we've got a situation that the system's actually been completed, we're talking about eight to 10 hours that we recommend before you put any foot traffic on that. 24 hours for reintroducing some furniture into an area. Uh, if you need to apply a rug back into an area, we normally recommend that you leave that seven days because you wanna make sure that the floor is exposed to make sure that it fully hardens off. So that's PV67, that's your excellent option, heavy duty varnish system, sports halls, bar tops, dance floors, that sort of thing. That's nicely flowed out now, and that will give you a nice wetted look to the floor in either a satin or a gloss finish. For more domestic use, you can use a polyurethane varnish. That will give you a nice natural look to the finish on your floor, and that is available, a clear satin, a clear gloss, and there's some colors available within that system as well for you to apply. Again, it's a three coat system. The first coat will take about an hour to be touched dry and then dry in about two hours and then your subsequent coats will be two to four hours to dry in between coats. So again, another excellent option with the extreme hardness formulation that's right up to date with what everybody wants to get out of their floor, i.e. durability. So in this video, we've shown you how to care for your interior flooring, specifically using the Saddling PV67 system. You've seen how easy it is to use a two-pack acid catalyzing system, which is ideal for use on high traffic areas and areas which suffer from a lot of wear. 